86% of Gaza is now under evacuation order. United Nations activities have been suspended. The amount of humanitarian food assistance that entered in southern Gaza in July was one of the lowest records since the beginning of the war. The lowest since the beginning of the war. Who can believe honestly that there is not obstruction for this humanitarian support entering into Gaza? And the war has triggered an unprecedented humanitarian crisis, which in turn has led to an extremely serious health crisis. The polio is back to Gaza, and thousands of children can be, can be paralyzed forever. That's why it's so important. I simply hope that the call for a ceasefire in order to vaccinate the population in Gaza against polio will be implemented. But the important thing today is the situation not only in Gaza, but in the West Bank. The Secretary General of the United Nations has issued a statement this afternoon asking for a stop of the military operation in the West Bank with an important number of airstrikes and casualties. The conflict is being extended to the West Bank and Jerusalem because they are at the heart of the conflict, because they combine both the territory and the symbolism. This is a fight for the territory, but also for the symbols. And a case in point is the desire of extremist Israeli ministers to rebuild the Temple Mount on the esplanade of the mosques. We are thus witnessing a form of radicalization on the part of some part members of the Israeli far right, for whom Gaza has always been a minor issue compared with the West Bank and Jerusalem. Maybe we don't care about the settlements in Gaza, since any return to calm would make it more difficult to pursue the colonial agenda they have for the West Bank, the expansion of the colonies. And that's why I, I propose to the member states to study sanctioning, listening in our listing uh, to Israeli ministers. We have discussed about it, certainly it was not uh, unanimity. Remind that this is not an executive council. We don't take decisions, we only discuss politically.